Alright guys, how's it going? Big Daddy does ya. Bit of an alternative opening there, but my friend asked me to do it a while ago, so I said I would do it, and there it is. You know who you are. Uh, the gameplay in the background is a bit of Raz gameplay played earlier on with a normal game. Uh, the structure of the game is pretty much uh, ranked, as everyone seems to be taking it really seriously, if you look at the comments every now and again. Uh, I don't know what happens with this kill here. You see the cannon just kind of stops there. He said he was lagging, but uh, I, bet, I beg to differ. I do beg to differ. Uh, so yeah, cheeky kill there. Anyway, the runes I'm running in this game, I, I know some of you will ask, are that of Magic Pen Reds, Health Per Level Yellows, and Flat, M flat MR Blues, and Movement Speed Quints. So yeah, that's an excuse not, a, not for you guys to ask us in the comments. Uh, the Masteries, I believe, are 9912. I go down to Arcane Knowledge in the Offense Tree, I go down to Veteran Scars in the Defense Tree, and I go down to Runic Affinity in the utility tree so yeah this will have a kind of an updated video as i have not done one in a while sorry i've just burped a little bit there <laughs> yeah i have not done an update video in a while i've just been releasing a lot of lead content and if you look here i get, I get away really really luckily here i might play really, pretty well and i'm just gonna wait yep <laughs> anyway back to the updates so my friend has recently bought a hdpvr and he got it for really really cheap off uh another friend uh Kind of a friend of a, th a friend of a friend thing, so yeah, he got it really cheap and he, he has got to get a PS3 component cable, so he has not been able to use it until he gets one. And he did say he will lend me it so I can record some gameplay. So I will probably definitely get some gameplay, probably definitely, that doesn't make any sense. I will definitely get some gameplay out in the coming weeks of games on the Xbox 360. So, but my priority game on that will be Dark Souls, as I will definitely bring a Let's Play Dark Souls. I know my track record hasn't been great for keeping up Let's Plays, but it's basically just down to the game. I mean, I've, I've completed Dark Souls twice, and I will definitely do it uh, my third time, as I really, really enjoy the game. But this time I will record it and share it with you. So I will definitely have a Let's Play of Dark Souls up in the coming weeks. Uh, as well as that, I, well, I haven't played this game in about a month now, but Assassin's Creed Revelations, I used to play that all the time. The, the multiplayer anyway, I didn't I didn't uh, dabble in the single player, but I always played the multiplayer. And I got pretty alright at it, but then I quit and then kind of sucky at it again. <laughs> so yeah, I will most definitely bring you some gameplay of that as well, if I get a chance to record a few games. If my friend is uh, kind enough to let me lend it for uh, a period of time. And I don't really have many games with Xbox in general. I have Call of Duty and whatnot, but Call of Duty is pretty boring. I've got a bit. I've got Halo Reach. I mean, I'm not great at it. I'm, well, I'm pretty not great. I'm really, really shit at it. So I probably won't even uh, bring anything out with that, as it will just be rather embarrassing. <laughs> right. Anyway, moving on. I am going to Leeds Festival this year. I am going there with about nine other people, I believe. If you're not familiar with it, it is basically just a really big festival in the UK, and. Bands like the Foo Fighters, Kasabian, The Cure, Follow From a Valentine, Ennis Shikari, Paramore, Cancer Bats, all them, and a lot, lot more bands are going over a period of three days. I believe we're going for five days though, so it should be a really, really messy weekend uh, with uh, everyone. I'm really looking forward to that, but it's not till August, so I've got quite a uh, wait. Uh, so yeah, I, today I believe is the day Lulu comes out in NA, so it will be tomorrow. Probably by the time you're watching this, Lulu will be out. So I will go over a few of the patch notes. These won't be all of them, as I have just kind of recorded down some of the main ones that I feel are most important. Uh, so we'll start off straight away here with Aurelia. Aurelia has actually had a nerf this patch, and I'm quite, quite surprising because I, I don't think she was overpowered. Because she was, she's not necessarily easily countered, but she can be shut down relatively uh, easy if you kind of camp the lane. But so I don't really feel a nerf was kind of in order, but here it is anyway. The cooldown on Aurelia's ultimate has gone up 10 seconds each level, which can doesn't sound like much, but it really is when you put it in perspective. As I can't remember the numbers exactly, as I have literally just wrote them down quickly on notepad. But yeah, it will hurt his sustain quite a bit. So it might not seem much, but it really, really is when you think of it. Another nerf she got was actually on her heightened style, and the health restore was actually reduced uh, on her heightened style. But when it gets active, it actually doubles. So it's kind of a win win loss situation there. Uh, probably a bit of a uh, loss to be honest. 
yep, so they are the nerfs on Aurelia this patch. And another champion that I wrote down notes for was that of Shen. Shen took a little bit of a nerf this patch as well. His Volta Blade damage actually got reduced, which was probably a, probably about right. I'd say he was quite quite overpowered. I'd say it harassed the lane and just would not get harassed himself because of his shield and uh, massive armor. So the Volta Blade damage got reduced and the, co the cooldown actually, actually got increased as well, which is quite fair as well in my opinion. As I Shen was really, really, really overpowered. I mean, he still is really good tier one champion, but now he's just a little bit less. Uh, has a little bit less sustain in lane and does a little bit less damage, which is good overall. Uh, and the final one I recorded was that of the Summoner Spell Heal. The base amount reduced uh, got reduced to 120 from 140. Uh, once again, might not seem as much, but it really is when it comes down to it. As League of Legends is a game of seconds and numbers. And, yep, the more the merrier, essentially, in most cases. But in this case, it's getting uh, got nerfed to uh, back to down down to 120 which isn't great and also the debuff duration got increased to 35 from 25 which again is quite costly but I don't really see many uh, double heals getting taken in team comps anyway so it's not really in the long term that much bad not much bad <laughs> isn't that as bad as it sounds and also one quick final thing was that the life still got reduced uh, life still got reduced on a lot of items I think all of them uh, but I got, I'm not going to go into specific details as the game is coming to an end Yep, so if you want to get the patch notes, go on legends.com and find them out. Uh, but anyway guys, I think this has been it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this one. This has been Dos, and I'll see you next time.